children today we will be doing literature standard 5 lesson 1 part 2 exercises we will be starting with making connection the first one true or false the spotted owlet is the largest owl species that is false the spotted owlet and minas are friends false Spotted owlets live in the holes on trees. True. Spotted owlets are completely nocturnal birds. They come out only at night. False. Spotted owlets eat other small animals. True. Spotted owlets have sharp eyes. True. Spotted owlets have weak beaks false spotted owlets enjoy getting wet true the next one is the word character is used for a person who appears in the story book play or movies there are four characters mentioned in the text can you identify them the first one is Narrator, his grandfather, grandmother and Aunt Mabel. Then we will be doing word wall. Compound words. Compound words are words made, made up of two or more existing words. Example, bird plus bath, bird bath, rain plus water, rain water, house plus hold, household, night plus bird, night bird, black plus boat, black boat. Here there is an exercise given. You have to match the column and get compound words earth worm rattle snake dragon fly grass hopper sea gull humming bird jelly fish lady bird then we'll be coming to the anagrams what are anagrams underline an anagram is a word Formed by rearranging the letters of another word. Like greet is formed from egret. E-G-R-E-T. Form words related to the birds by rearranging the letters of the word below. First one is scent, nest, bake, beak, rooters, rooster, wallows, swallow, Wolf, fowl, honor, heron, raptor, parrot, low, owl. Then comes antonyms. Opposite. You have to give the opposites. Raw, you can write cooked or ripe. Then later, early, release, hold, stooping, straightening, unselfish, selfish, regular, Irregular, terrified, confident, shallow, deep. Then we'll come to the grammar time. Types of nouns. What is a noun first? A noun is a word that refers to person like grandmother or aunt, Mabel, an animal like owlet or owl, place, garden, a thing, petticoat, or a feeling affection now there are different kinds of noun let us learn about them you have to match the nouns their descriptions and examples to the right places in the table below some nouns are given some description is given and some examples are given whichever is missing you have to write in the first one you will write Ruskin Bond Taj Mahal Monday December Second one, common noun, you have to write the definition or the description. Noun that refers to the person, place or thing in general sense. Example already given. Third is, as per the description, is concrete noun. Def description already given. Example already given. Fourth one, 
as per the description it is abstract noun a b s t r a c t abstract noun definition and description given then material noun description is given you have to write the example gold silver wood iron next one is countable noun description given you write the examples books children gift trees Next one is uncountable noun. You have to write the description. Noun that cannot be counted and do not have plurals. The uh, example already given. Then the last one is collective noun as per the description. And you have to write the example also. Pile, fleet, crowd, family, herd, flock. Then in the next one. You have to read the story which is given. The italicized words are nouns. You have to identify the types of noun and then you have to write them in the correct column given below. Here the columns are given. In the first column you will write the proper noun, then countable noun, uncountable noun, abstract noun and collective noun. This is for homework. You will be doing it for homework. homework. Then pronunciation. Some words are given. You have to fill them in the proper blanks. Joy, zoo, beige, edge, rose, pleasure, leisure. Joy has the same J sound as edge. Pleasure has the same Z sound as leisure. Zoo has the same Z sound as rose. Rest of the exercises will be given in the next video uh, you have to write the word meanings in the copy and learn the word meanings and exercises thank you